Hi, so now I'm part two here. Um, you have a worksheet that if you download it, uh, you have three problems. These are also uh, going to already be filled out. You can uh, look at that film form too. But we're only going to go over number two, which is a lot like the assessment that we're asking you to try and fill out. Um, so uh, if you want to try the other ones, the answers will be on the filled out version. So uh, those of you who want to do a little board in the class, in the home or whatever, you can do those. Um, so in number two, if you look at the problem, it's one over x plus four. And, and then plus 2. So what I've already done is we've already looked at our transformations. We should know our transformations. This is my C value and that C value is a negative 4 which means I'm going to go left 4. The D value is here at 2 so that means it's going to go up 2. Okay. Now those of you who don't have a graphing calculator on your computer or your own graphing calculator if you have to do this by hand that would mean we would have to then subtract 4 from all my X values. Correct? So subtract 4, this would be negative 6, negative 5, negative 4, negative 3, and negative 2. Okay, then we would have to add 2 to all the y values for this one. So when we add 2, that's going to be 1 and a half, 1, 3, and then 2 and a half. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to be able to um, plot those points. So as we plot those points, we're going to have negative six and a half, one and a half, negative five, one. Those are those two points, and then we're going to plot in negative three, three, and negative two, two and a half. Now, again, that's not a lot of points for us to graph, but if we remember our, the asymptotes, if I went left 4, out of the two axis, or the two asymptotes, the one that's going to get affected by the left 4 is going to be the vertical. So we're going to move the vertical one left 4, which would put it here at negative 4, which would put my vertical asymptote at x is equal to negative 4. Okay? Then, my horizontal asymptote is going to be affected by an up-down move. So up 2. So we take that up 2, which would put it at y is equal to 2. All right, so now, and again, remember, when we ask for the asymptotes, we want equations. x is equal to and y is equal to. Okay, that is important because you can't just give the numbers. And we want you to make sure you write it properly. Okay, now, how do I graph those? Once we know what our asymptotes do, remember it gets closer and closer. So it's going to get closer and closer here, closer and closer here, and that's the graph we're going to have. And then again like this, and this is just sketching it as it gets closer and closer and not going through the asymptotes. Okay, again, when we look at our domain and range now, our domain is going to apply with the vertical asymptote. In other words, it's every... It's, a negative infinity to the left and negative infinity to the right. But the one x value it's not allowed to be is negative 4. Okay, and that's kind of that restriction number. Right? So it's going to be at negative infinity to negative 4 union negative 4 to infinity. And the range is going to apply with the, the horizontal asymptote. The one y value can't be is at 2, so it's negative infinity to 2 union 2 to infinity. Now the other two things we have to talk about are the x-intercept and the y-intercept. Remember that your x-intercept you're going to sub 0 for y. Alright, so we're going to do that over here for the x-intercept. We're going to put 0 in for y. Now remember our y value is the f of x, correct? So it's going to be 0 is equal to 1 over x plus 4 plus 2. So we're going to move the 2 over makes it negative 2 and we get 1 over x plus 4 and then we're going to cross multiply don't forget the negative negative 2x minus 8 is equal to 1 move the 8 over we get negative 2x is equal to 9 so x is going to equal when I divide by negative 2 negative 9 halves so my x intercepts at negative 9 halves 0 will they always be no, fractions? No, depends on the number, right? But if you think about that, that's four, negative four and a half, which would be right there. Perfect. 
Now the y-intercept is much easier. Y-intercept, remember, is sub 0 for x. And if I do that up here, that's just going to put a 0 here, which is going to give me 1 fourth plus 2, which is 2 and a fourth, right? Which is going to be 0. And if you want to write 2 and a fourth, that's fine. Or you could write 0 and 9 fourths. Either way works. And 2 and a fourth would be roughly right about there, which does work. Okay. Now, if you want to see the other ones, this one has a uh, nice little vertical stretch of two. Okay, this one down here is going to have a reflection and a horizontal compression of a half. So if you want to go do those and try those, you can do that. That remember to use the same parent points every time. Okay, and you can fill those are filled in also in your folder. Okay, so hope this helps, um, especially if you don't have a graphing calculator.